Okay, number 15 again. Well, as I mentioned in the previous video, like this one, uh, we can use, uh, as I showed you, we can use fundamental matrix or matrix exponential function, e to the 80, right? But since this is two by two, and without fundamental matrix, we can solve this problem. Maybe like, you know, I have to show you like this way too, okay? So let's just start from the fundamental set, okay? So in the previous video, uh, we found the fundamental uh, the vector source uh, vector functions, right? So let me write that one. There we go. Um, it was let's rotate by u, okay? U1 equal to e to the t. And u2 is e to the 40. Okay, right? These are came from in the previous video, okay? And then, like, since we know, like, u1 and u2 uh, form the fundamental set of solution, and your solution is a linear combination form of these two vector function, right? Okay? Is C1 times, or we can just combine directly, right? C1 e to the 2t plus C2 e to the 4t, and 3C1 e to the 2t plus C2 e to the 4t. Okay, now once you have like you know this form, then we're gonna apply the initial condition, okay? Initial condition was given by x0 equal to 2, 2, 2, right? Then plug in 0. And it will be c1 plus c2, because the exponential function is always equal to 1. 3 c1 plus c2 is equal to 2, okay? which means C1 plus C2 is 2. And 3C1 plus C2 is 2. When I subtract, it is negative to C1 equals 0. Then simply your C1 must be equal to 0. Then I can say C2 is 2, right? So your solution vector function is. 2 e to the 14, 2 e to the 14. That's it. So, uh, without fundamental matrix or matrix exponential function, we can solve this system of differential equation. Okay. Thank you.